Good morning, and welcome back to Keeping History on Two Wheels. You know, when Oglethorpe and the trustees established the colony of Georgia, there were a few things that weren't allowed. One was attorneys. Now, that's kind of my favorite. Two, slavery. Three, alcohol. And four, the Catholic Church. But yeah, here we stand in front of St. John the Baptist. So what happened? Why did it change? When did it change? So come on and let's go learn some history today. In order to tell this story correctly, we're going to have to go back to Oglethorpe and the trustees and when they established the colony of Georgia and the city of Savannah. The colonial charter for Savannah prohibited Roman Catholics from settling in the city. The English trustees feared that the Catholics would be more loyal to the Spanish authorities in Florida than to the English government in Georgia. However, this prohibition faded shortly after the American Revolution. The church's congregation was reorganized in about 1796. French Catholic immigrants established the first church in 1799 after they fled Haiti after the slave rebellions that began in the Caribbean island in 1791. It became the main church for the free blacks of Haiti in the early 19th century. Construction began on the new cathedral of St. John the Baptist in 1859. The structure was nearly destroyed by fire in 1898, but through diligent effort was rebuilt by 1899. The Cathedral Basilica of St. John the Baptist was the first building in Georgia constructed of brick. It features 81 stained glass windows, 16 gargoyles, is 214 feet tall with a roof height of 96 feet, took over 90,000 copper nails and 45,000 slates to construct. The cathedral that stands before us today was not originally located at this location. The congregation constructed its first church on Liberty Square in 1779 and in 1811 chose a site on Drayton and Perry Streets for a larger building. Bishop John England of the Diocese of Charleston, which encompassed Savannah, consecrated the new church April 1, 1839. Now, Pope Pius IX established the Diocese of Savannah in 1850, and the congregation began to plan for a new cathedral on Lafayette Square in 1870 under Savannah's fourth bishop. The Right Reverend Ignatius Persisco, Most Reverend James Roosevelt Bailey, Archbishop of Baltimore, presided at the dedication of the Neo-Gothic Sanctuary in April 30, 1876. However, the brick structure lacked the spires which were not added until 1896, when it also received a coating of stucco and whitewash. On February 6, 1898, a fire swept through the building and left only the walls and towers. However, the congregation quickly rebuilt and was able to celebrate Christmas Mass in the new facility in 1899. But again, the structure was not quite complete, and the interior decoration took an additional 13 years. Stained glass windows were installed around 1904. 
The parish undertook subsequent renovation projects in 1959 through 1965, which addressed heating, cooling, and lighting systems and decorations. In 1984 and 85, to reinforce structural foundations and implement changes suggested by the Second Vatican Council, and in 1998 and 2000 to install new roofing and restore the original interior color palette and decorations. Pope Francis elevated the status of the church to a minor basilica in 2020. You know, I'm not Catholic. I'm about as backsliding Baptist as you can get. But this place, it's simply amazing. If you're ever in Savannah, Georgia, and you're looking for historical sites to go visit, or you're just doing your walk around in Savannah, this is a place that you need to definitely put on the top of your list. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. It's right down in the left. Bell so that you'll be notified whenever we do an upload. Always remember, every trip starts with a step, and that step, well, it starts with you.